Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back for some more Devil May Cry 4. This is mission 11 of Lady and Trisha's campaign, or section, whatever you want to call it. And this is our final mission with Lady until mission 19, which we'll play as her again. Uh, but after this one, we'll have a few missions as Trish, and then we'll be at the end of the game. So I'm kind of curious to see how this mission will go, because the Sanctus fight was, like, stupidly easy with Nero, because you could take a good chunk of his health out with uh, the Devilbringer. And since that is not at our disposal now, we'll have to see how that changes. It, might, it probably won't be too bad. Especially since keeping at a distance from Sanctus is kind of a, a little bit of a boon here because he's got some pretty devastating close range attacks. Plus it gives us plenty of time to dodge the ranged attacks. So in the last couple videos I've been kind of... I don't want to say negative, but I've been a little irritated. Which just goes with the territory if you are on the internet a while, um, there's just certain things I've been reading and seeing that just irritated the shit out of me, and uh, they kind of bled over to my videos. I actually listened back to the video before this one in the Devil May Cry series, and I thought about deleting the commentary and recording a new one, but then the more I thought about it, you know, I was kind of like, you know, this is capturing a moment whether it be a good moment or a bad moment. It's kind of like... Some of these are almost kind of like audio journals with gameplay because I'm just kind of like rambling off whatever's in my head sometimes. And I was like, you know, I'll leave it, see what happens. But um, because of that, in this video, something I would like to mention is... Oh, you fucker. <laughs> Something I'd like to mention is I want to plug a YouTuber for a minute. Um, that sounds dirty too. Promote a YouTuber. Even though I don't have much promotional power since like five people watch my videos. <laughs> but I do want to rec I do want to mention it because I enjoy the content she puts out. But and I have had some people tell me they prefer like more laid back YouTubers that aren't like all like screaming and yelling and flipping the fuck out and acting like. Uh, Douchebags, or well, I don't want to say they're acting like douchebags, but just like more laid-back personalities. And uh, she is very much one of those people that's got like the kind of laid-back personality. Uh, she streams too on Twitch, but I can't remember her stream or her Twitch stream name. But you can find her on YouTube at Alice Seven, and it's not the number seven; it's seven spelled out S E V E N. She has some Battlefield stuff. Pretty, uh, very good. Some pretty cool Battlefield videos. Uh, a couple, like, streams that she uploaded from Twitch, uh, like Mortal Kombat and Rayman. But, like I said, you know, for people that prefer, like, more laid-back streams or videos, uh, she's, like I said, fits that description very much. I can't remember exactly how... Oh, I think... I think she was a guest on a Sons of Kojima podcast, and that's how I stumbled upon her. And, uh, I mean, she's got good content, so I watched it, and now I'm recommending it to you guys. And she doesn't have a very big YouTube channel, both in, like, subscriber count and video-wise. Um, kind of getting the impression she just started out, so give her a, uh, check her out. And give her a thumbs up on some videos and give her a subscribe. All five of you that probably watch this video. <laughs> I hate these things. I'm not even gonna fuck around with trying to get them stupid orbs. Kind of really starting to find my groove with her, and then we gotta take over with Lady, or not Lady, with Trish. I still hate these guys though. No fucker. I knew that was gonna.
these guys just need a good stunning and then you unload on them. Are you fucking serious? What's the point of locking on if every rocket is going to miss him? Man, another thing I've been doing is I've been rewatching and rewatching and rewatching the Suicide Squad footage because that movie interests me so much. Not because of yeah, because of the characters, but also because just the trailer alone makes it seem like something so out of what DC normally does. You know, DC comic movies are not generally very dark, um, outside of the realm of having, like, the Joker in a Batman movie. The, the live-action movies have not been... They've been very, they've been fairly straightforward, you know, and I know people are like, well, Superman broke Zod's neck in the Man of Steel, that's kind of dark, and, okay, that's like one scene. This movie just seems like something to be the polar opposite of everything that they've done so far. It's going clear back to the Christopher Reeve's Superman movies, you know, uh, off the top of my head, I can't think of a DC movie that's been this dark. I mean, yeah, maybe Constantine. Uh, but we don't count that because it's bad <laughs> but that trailer there's just so much I mean and, and it's all like intercut and stuff like that it's all jumbled around with the way that I mean obviously trailers aren't in chronological order but there's just so much going on in that trailer it just intrigues me so much I, I can't wait for that movie to come out and I, I really hope it's good because I'd like to see more of that side of uh, the Superman movies. Um, in fact, last night I just was kind of thinking like, or not the Superman movies, DC movies. I was thinking how I would like to see a Zatanna movie because that would be completely, that would be like their answer to Marvel's Doctor Strange. And it kind of breaks the realm. It, obviously, since they're doing Suicide Squad, they're getting... And I know they got Harley Quinn and the Joker as, like, the big draws for people. And, like, Will Smith, who, I don't know, the more I think about it, I don't think he's too out of place there. I kind of wonder if maybe Antonio Banderas would have been a better choice, but he might be too old. I'm not sure how old he is now. He might be in his 50s. I'm not sure. But... A younger, in fact, if this movie was made like 10 years ago, Antonio Banderas would have been perfect as Deadshot, but at, at any rate, um, getting back on topic, they're getting more comfortable with what they, uh, fuck that fight, I guess we won't finish it. They're getting more comfortable with, oh, we're at the Sanctus fight, cool. They're getting more comfortable with having characters that aren't quite so well known, um, not comfortable enough to have it stand on its own with having Joker so prominent in the trailer. And, I mean, Harley Harley would have been a big draw regardless of whether or not the Joker was in it. And I didn't mean to yell that. <laughs> because Harley is a popular enough character on her own. Plus, most fans would go just to see her in her cinematic debut. But I'm hoping this gives them enough confidence to branch out and do lesser known characters. And do them right, uh, you know, like I mentioned, Zatanna would be, that would just be fucking awesome, and this is not a good op, uh, I'm gonna have to figure out something else to damage him, because that was not a good choice, uh, Zantana would be cool, uh, I, a lot of people have really been pulling for a Lobo movie, I'm not real sure, I can't really think of anybody off the top of my head to play Lobo, I don't know. Just thinking, but, um, you know, maybe try Constantine again. And if they do, I really hope they get, uh, ah, fuck, I can't remember his name, but the dude from the, uh, that was on the TV show, because I thought he was a really good Constantine. He just, it just seemed like that role was perfect for him. And it really bums me out that that series isn't going to be continued past the first season because I really enjoyed that show. 
which is, if those of you who have been following me for a while, I always mention I don't get into a lot of TV shows because they always get canceled, and fucking Constantine got canceled. Uh, Backstrom got canceled, and Hannibal got canceled, so fuck it, I'm never watching TV again. I'll just wait till the shows come out on DVD, or Blu ray, or Netflix. I did watch, um, since we're on this superhero topic and stuff, I finally watched The Dark Knight Returns Parts 1 and 2, and I read the graphic novel. In fact, I still have it lying around here somewhere. But I had read the graphic novel a few times, and I was quite surprised how closely it followed it. Um, the only thing I noticed is they didn't have Commissioner Gordon smoking in the movie. But uh, I was... I thought that movie was really, really well done and very, very sourceful to the faith, or very, very faithful to the source material. And uh, the voice acting was cast pretty well. I wasn't sure about Peter Weller at first as Batman, but uh, he did really well. I was, I thought his his take on it was done done rather well and. Uh, uh, I can't think of the guy's name, but he played Zepp in the Saw movies. He was the Joker. Uh, that was creepy. Uh, some of the references, I think, for like young people younger than me, or I mean like 10 years younger than me, I think some of the references might have fell flat. And I did notice they kind of... I thought maybe they'd toned down on it, because the, uh, the graphic novel was very much a product of the 80s and the Cold War paranoia and things like that, but uh, they left all that intact and it was just really, really well done. Ooh. I think there was a part with the Devil Bringer there too. Like I said, they, they did retool some of the bosses for... Uh, lady. So obviously this is one of them. I hate this. Fucker. He got a little overzealous there. I thought he was going to drop. Let's see if we can pop off one more. Splash damage. Nope. Just hoping maybe the splash would get him. finish him off here. rocket down his throat and that should be the end of it. Yep. Nope. That's the end of it. Alright guys, we're going to wrap this video up here. And uh, like always, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. If you haven't and you're a Batman fan, check out the animated Dark Knight Returns parts 1 and 2. Uh, get the graphic novel and check out the YouTube channel Alice7. Alright? Have a good one guys.